KK was one of the biggest playback singers of the Bollywood film industry as well as one of the greatest of the whole Indian music industry. His full and formal name was Krishna Kumar Kunnath and KK was the short form of his full name which was popularly used by the people. KK was born in Delhi, India on 23rd August 1968 and died in Kolkata, West Bengal, India on 31st May 2022 at the age of 53 due to cardiac arrest. He was given a gun salute by the West Bengal government and his funeral was held on 2nd June with the attendance of family members, friends and colleagues. In early life, KK was brought up in New Delhi and later he completed graduation in commerce from Thiruvimal College, Delhi. City. In his personal life, he was married to Jyothi since 1991 and had two children. After a few years of marriage, he moved to Mumbai by quitting his marketing executive job to pursue his passion for music. Unfortunately, the journey of being one of the best playback singers in India was not easy for KK. He started his struggle to create a name for himself and establish himself as a versatile singer in the Hindi film industry. Gradually, he overcame all the barriers and gained an inseparable place in the industry. In 1999, KK made his Bollywood debut with the song Tarap Tarap Ke Is Dil Se from the movie Ham Dil De Chuke Sanam, which was a massive hit and became the turning point of his musical career. In the same year, he also launched his first album titled Pal and the songs Pal and Yero from his album became evergreen hits. Some other notable Hindi songs of KK included Dolare Dola from the movie Devdas, Kya Mujhe Pear Hai from the movie Bo Lam Hai, Akho Me Teri from the movie Om Shanti Om, Amat Azmare from the movie Murder 3, Tujo Mila from the movie Bajrangi Bhaijan and many more. Das KK became one of the best and most versatile singers in the Indian music industry who recorded songs not only in Hindi language but also in many other languages such as Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Oriya, Bengali, Assamese and Gujarati etc. Though he was popular for singing, he was an excellent composer also. KK had composed many popular songs, especially the songs from the Hamsafar album. Actually, this album was his second and last album after the Pal album where he had composed eight songs of the second album and some of them were Asman Ke, Dekho Na, Ye Kaha Mil Gaye Ham, etc. Apart from singing and composing songs in movies and albums, KK sang many television serial songs like Just Mohabbat, Shakalaka Boom Boom, Puch Jhuki Si Palke, Hip Hip Hure, Kavyanjali, etc. Also, he had sung the Tanha Chala song from the Pakistani TV show named The Ghost, which was aired on Ham TV. Moreover, KK was a regular participant and performer of many famous TV shows of many popular TV channels such as MTV, Aztec Channel, Sony Mix TV, etc. In his glorious musical journey, he had received a Filmfare Award South, the Screen Award as Best Singer for Pal Album, and six Filmfare Animations, etc. It has to be mentioned that KK was started his music career by singing jingles for advertisement before making his debut in Bollywood. In fact, he had sung more than 3,500 jingles in different languages. Another surprising fact is that he never took any professional or formal training in music. However, KK always highlighted his personal opinion that the face of a singer is not important, rather the singer needs to be listened. Even he became awkward in front of a camera and never wanted to be associated with the songs of any particular actor. He loved to remain in his private zone and felt relaxed with the mic. 
Further, KK was the inspiration in the terms of both music and personality. He maintained his down-to-earth attitude after the success in his music career and remained a simple person at heart. For this reason, he could touch the hearts of people very easily through his songs. Therefore, KK was called the voice of love and he will be remembered as the singer of hearts forever. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Assalamu alaikum.